split supports are attached to the platform using these brackets across the two holes that you'll see in the A panels attached in with the half inch button head screw. There are three split supports each held in with two screws and that secures the two panels together. Once you have the A panels joined together with the split supports on the underside, we're going to start the top side preparation by putting the D-ring in the corners. And then after that, we're going to marry up the upright. So to start this, you'll take that large inch and a half washer, place that there. You'll take a tie down ramp, place that there. You'll take the D-ring, we're going to actually position that like that and then we'll line this up and then you'll see there's two holes this hole is going to be where the upright attaches to and you'll see that there's no fastener there uh, because the upright will be on the underside so we're going to secure this in place with the half inch screw right here and then we'll marry up the uprights in another step so the next step is to marry your upright assembly to the panel. We've got the D-rings attached up top from the previous step. And on the top side, we have now placed a washer and a screw in that center location. And then we have the one inch washers against the platform on the back. We have found that this is a good way to do this. Um, if you place it with the trim piece, you've got the recess for your trim piece down at the bottom here. Um, then this upright assembly can be presented to the panels. You tighten up all your screws, and then you've got that in place. And then we'll repeat that for the other, uh, the center and the other side. So that's what it'll look like once you have the assembly, the upright assembly attached to your top panel. With everything secured, you've got the slides on the inside facing towards the vehicle rear, which is where that trim piece is down on the very bottom. And we'll go through and repeat this process. All right, so to start installing your system, once you've got the second row seats out, we remove this trim piece from the vehicle front portion of that. And then that's going to expose this bracket here, which has some threaded holes. You'll use these 3D printed brackets that we provide, and you'll attach these into the existing threaded holes. We reuse two of the existing fasteners and provide two more. That secures there. Um, and then in the vehicle rear, we have what's called our anchor bar. So we pull the D-rings out of the vehicle, exposing these threaded holes. And you'll have your aluminum spacer and the actual anchor bar itself, which will go over that. This will secure into the M6 holes using that. And the system attaches to this. You'll also be provided with this single 90 degree bracket. And that attaches into this little sheet metal bracket on the car. You'll have a screw and a nylock nut on the underside. So you kind of put your finger in there and hold the nylock nut um, while you get everything started. And then you tighten that down and that'll be used to secure the center runner of our system. So installing the actual system in the vehicle, very important on the uh, FJ Cruiser, this bracket, this edge, and this door all want to be in the same place if you were to just slide the system in straight. So what we do is we actually pick the system up and over completely and we place it as you can see we place it just vehicle forward of the brackets and then once we're there now we're going to pick the whole system up and we're going to align these nuts with the extrusion channels and then we'll slide that back and that's how we will install the system so attaching the system in the vehicle front We'll do the same thing, but just in reverse. So now we have the system pushed vehicle rearward now that it's on those brackets in the back. And we'll line this all up and we'll slide the system forward. And then with that, we'll be able to lock everything in. Okay, so now we've got the system put in place. You can see that we've got the extrusion on the brackets. This one runs up and we're gonna run a screw right through that. There's a threaded hole in the center of that and then we'll just start tightening everything down. Installing our drawer boxes, the drawer is attached to the slides with six screws, three on each side. There's one here, one in the center, 
and then one that's accessible through this access hole in the slide. So what we advise doing is taking the slides about halfway out, setting the bottom of your drawer on the plastic trim, installing the screws here and here first, and then install the screws in the center, and then you can extend that the rest of the way and install the screws in the vehicle back portion. Um, and then just one word of caution here on the driver's side, it does get a little tight back here, so this screw will be a little bit blind, but again, same thing. If you install the vehicle rear screws, the center screws, this screw, and then save that for last, everything should be aligned real nicely, and that should just go right in. So pre-threading screws, we got three quarter inch screw, washer, nut underneath, and you get it just enough to engage, and then we're just gonna slip this right up the extrusion just like that make sure they're both in and now you can do the screw in the center and so for this we've got our nut there and we can just run this all the way up so that's about where you want it and we just get it started with a couple of threads There we go, so that's engaged now. And now we'll slide the panel beside it and it just goes right into place. And then we can start tightening that down. So we've got our second panel that is now in place and same thing, you just slide that on and then just hold the washers out of the way. You may need to loosen up that just a little bit just to make clearance, uh, but there you go. And now it's slid in, washers are in place and then you can snug it up just a little bit for right now. We're gonna come back and we'll do what we call the C panels, but they're the vehicle forwardmost panels. We'll do those, and then we'll go back and tighten them. This is our C panel, passenger side. Uh, same kind of deal here. We just slip it on, pre thread our little economy nuts onto the screws, and just slide it onto the rail, just like we did. And then when we get to the end of this, we've got one extra little piece we'll show you, um, but otherwise, this is very similar to that first panel. Got our last component here of the main sleeper panels. This is a coupler that we use, similar to the split supports that you would have used on the main part of the platform. Uh, this one's just different in that it's wood. Uh, but right there, just fits on the three holes there and we'll use the fasteners up top. So you've got a screw and a washer through here, fastening into the nut on the back side of this. We've got our front bar here, our crossbar. And this, we've got the 90 degree connectors and same kind of thing, we just pre-thread our extrusion nuts, get it lined up, and then just slide it right on. This one, yeah, a little more tricky, but there you go. That's done, so we'll tighten those screws, and then we'll come back to the last part of the panels.